Blessed be everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Two of Cups and comparing the cards across three different tarot decks so just to give you an idea of differences in tarot decks and what each nuance of those differences can do for you as a reader to help you with your reading. But before we do that, I'm Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com, author of Crafting Your Wiccan Path. If you want to know more about tarot, wicca, witchcraft and shadow work, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos. If you want to become a confident tarot reader, take a look at my course. It's called the Confident Tarot Reader Course. The link is in the description field below this video. It is up and running at the moment. We are doing live Zoom lessons, but there are replays for each lesson. So if you join up late, you can still do the course, watch the replays and uh, join in the lessons uh, wherever it is that you come in at. As I said before, the link is in the description field below this video. So today I wanted to work with comparing the same card, the one card, across different decks. And so I just randomly chose a card to work with and the card of the Two of Cups came up. So I thought we'd work with that. Uh, the Two of Cups is generally associated with partnerships and new relationships. But the number two extends beyond that. The number two numerologically can be about harmony it can be about achieving balance and equilibrium. It can be about being diplomatic and wanting to uh, make sure that uh, the social situation or relationships between people is harmonious. And so that comes out a lot in the Two of Cups because Cups is about the emotions. And so when we're looking after people and trying to be harmonious in relationships, whether they're friendships or love relationships or business relationships, work relationships, whatever relationships, it is, it is very much on that emotional realm that we're, we're delving into. Even if it's a business relationship or you've got to ring somebody up in a call center to get something fixed, you're actually having an experience with another human being and you're having a discussion that is going to have an effect on your emotions depending on how how easy or how difficult the discussion goes. So we're always dealing with that harmony of emotion when we're looking at the Two of Cups and that interaction between people. So the first uh, card that I've got here is your standard Waite Smith deck where you have the two people holding a cup. It looks like one cup is being uh, given or received from one person to the other and above that you have the wing lion and also a caduceus there as well. There's also a homestead in the background too. So in this card we're seeing the coming together also of opposites or seemingly opposites. There's a certain element of the bringing together of two poles with the number two as well. So in this case, we have a male and female coming together and they're exchanging cups. So cups representing emotions is they're exchanging some sort of emotional interaction. It doesn't necessarily mean it's a romance. It could be a friendship. It could be a business partnership. It could just be an interaction that you're having with a person that day that could be a perfect stranger, but you're having a harmonious, hopefully, uh, interaction with that person. And it's something that is looked at from a divine perspective too, because you've got the winged lion at the top there. And there's a healing element to this card too because you've got the caduceus and the caduceus is also bringing the two opposites together so it's like a, a representation of yin and yang the polarity the balancing of polarity in this case too can be the balancing of any kind of uh, polarity in general if you're really wanting to get abstract about it but when you look at this uh, card from the picture on this card you're probably going to think that it's some kind of friendly relationship and because you've got that homestead in the background it, it can represent a meeting of two people who have the potential to uh, set up some kind of uh, long-term relationship whether that's a 
home or a business or some kind of established harmonious establishment represented by the home in the background there. It's a very positive coloured card. You've got your beautiful oranges and greens and blues. Uh, so it, it's got a very harmonious uh, aspect to it. I've got here the Anna Kay Tarot now, which is uh, Anna Kay take on the Two of Cups. And it, there's a similar theme here. You have a male and a female there. Uh, and these two, what's different about these two is with the Waite Smith deck, it seems to be quite formalized. Like they're, they're, it's a very more of a formal sort of exchange. These two seem to be a little bit more uh, intimate, possibly even flirting together. So you're sort of starting to see a little bit more of energy in this card being more directed towards kind of a relationship that's an attraction between two people, uh, just simply because of the flirtatious postures that these two have in this card. So if I was reading using this deck, I would probably be inclined to read it as something to do with flirtatiousness and uh, more on that emotional uh, re relational energy. Whereas with this card here, because it, it is a little bit more stand backish um, with regards to their posture, it's a little bit more formal. It, it could mean a business relationship or something. Whereas this one, there is definitely an element more of flirtatiousness in that for me anyway. Another un interesting thing about uh, this uh, card too is you've, you've got the, the curtains here. So there's a little bit of uh, covering up there, a, li a little bit of hiding something but only partially hiding something, which again indicates to me an element of flirtatiousness. So it's like, oh, well, you're only going to see a sum of what's going on. There's an element of mystery there. And that also just reminded me of the two, the, the high priestess in the major arcana where you've got the veil in the background. You've actually got a veil uh, here with these two as well. So if I was using this deck, I would probably look at more of a relationship that's more emotionally flirtatious than if I was using, say, this card here. If you've got multiple decks, it's good to use different decks. Uh, intuitively, maybe go for a particular deck if you're doing a reading for someone or just intuitively pick up a deck because they're all so different. And... Sometimes you could even, if you've got a number of different decks and you're reading for other people, just get them to choose a deck and just say, well, here's three decks, which one would you like? And just see which one they choose and go with that. The third one is the Gilded Tarot. And that's the Two of Cups from the Gilded Tarot. What's interesting about this version of the Two of Cups is you've got the two cups there, of course. You've got a connection between the two people there. You've got the divine connection too in this one with the what seems to be a light uh, in between them, which kind of reminds me of the winged lion uh, in this card. You don't really have that so much in this card, although there is a bit of a sort of a yellowy halo in the background there, but it's not as prominent as this card is. So it's almost like there's a, a divine connection between these two people or a divine union or something going on. And then even possibly even a psychic connection between these two. And that connecting, of course, to the heart chakra, which I see is represented by the two cups there. There's water in this card as well. We don't see water in the Anna Kay at all. And we don't see water in the uh, Waitsmith one either. But we've got a lot of watery, bluey imagery here. So I'm seeing this card as being quite reflective of more of a, a, a connection that's, that's much more watery. <laughs> so if, it would influence the reading, essentially, if I was using this deck over, say, um, the other deck. So even though technically all the tarot cards should mean the same things, you'll notice that the cards have different, a number of different meanings per card, and that's what can make it so confusing about what 
to read from that card because there's a number of different read meanings with the card. So I find that the artwork on the card is really what should be helping us read if we're not as psychic as some people are and tuning into uh, more the, the telepathic connections. If we're really relying on the cards themselves then the decks are going to nuance the reading and, and probably center it or, or um, direct it in, in a certain way according to how the artists have interpreted the meanings themselves in their artwork. So I'm seeing a lot of emotion, uh, but not, not necessarily emotional emotion, but just a lot of emotional connection, psychic connection. There's a bit more of a divine connection here with this one, simply because of the water and the color and the light at the top uh, between these two people. I'm not necessarily, wouldn't necessarily read this as a love relationship at all. Um, I would say that it's just some kind of soul connection maybe between you and another person. Uh, whether that is a soul connection because you're, you're meant to be friends or business partners or work together or coming together temporarily for something. That would be, I guess, maybe the energy I would see in that card as opposed to the other two cards. <laughs> So that's just an example of having the same card being the two of cups but three different totally different decks that are quite different to each other and how each one seems to push a particular meaning of the card simply by the artist's interpretation of the meaning of the card so if you want to become a confident tarot reader and learn to read uh, not just using the Waitsmith deck, but also understanding how you can read using whatever deck that you are using to connect with the images and understand that they all have uh, a meaning within a reading and that you don't necessarily have to learn all of the different meanings for all of the cards. The cards should be able to tell you what it is they're, they're saying. Then do take a look at the Confident Tarot Reader course. The link is in the description field below this video. If you like the video, hit the like button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. I am Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com. Blessed be.